Now it's back in the kitchen. Now I was saying, if I was at your restaurant, Jason, this is what I would oh, order: so poached spring, trout. Spring, it just Absolutely. feels so spring. You know, I mean, it's the weather's all over the place right now, but I don't care. It's spring, okay? It's spring. <laughs> uh, but uh, no trout. I mean, it's one of those beautiful things. But poaching also is a tough one because how long do you poach it for? What temperatures? Right. Stuff like that. So literally, I take mm, a little bit of wine. Why not? <laughs> but you don't have to use wine. Again, you can use. I always like a little bit of apple cider or. A, pineapple juice but right. I find wine is that springy flavor and then I use a vegetable stock um, you know again you could use a chicken stock if you like to make it a little bit more bold uh, and as you can see I measure things out exact <laughs> um, and then what I've got is uh, a bay leaf you know okay. a nice little bit of bite I find bay leaf is good but it, you, it, not too much, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the good old star anise, which is the one that I love, a good little licorice flavor to it. Yeah. And then white peppercorns. White oh, are a nice. little bit more spicy, not as like harsh as the black. So I think they're a little bit more delicate for fish, you know. Right. And then dill, and you can just throw the dill right in there, you know, just like that. I very right? rarely poach, and that's that's the whole thing. It's the how long. Well, so here's the trick, and this is um, what I love about this is it is kind of a. Uh, I don't want to say idiot proof. Um, <laughs> you sure it's, about uh, that? It's, but it's simple because what you do, you bring it to a boil. Yeah. When it's boiling, you take the fish, beautiful piece of trout, you drop it in. Okay. You put a lid on it, and you turn it off. Done. And that's it. You know, because basically the heat in there, as long as you don't crowd like 20 pieces of fish in there, that's enough to keep it cooking. You will, it will actually start to slow down the liquid before it will overcook the fish. So basically, two or three, well, maybe about five minutes later, you can take it, you can leave it cool right down, use it, flake it up for salad, right, beautiful. Right, 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 right. But you know, you end up with something as simple and as fresh as that. Because it's, it's, it's that. pretty much one of the healthiest ways uh, to eat oh, your fish, right? It, to poach it? Well, it's great because it's really, you know, you're not adding any fats to it, yeah. you, know, you know. So of course, me, I wanted to add a little bit of fat to it. Of course. Um, <laughs> but I thought Let's with this, fat. you know, it is a little softer, there's not a lot of texture, so I want to add texture to the plate. Right. So what I've got here is a typical roosty. You know, yeah. so potato nice just side. grated down, a little bit of herbs in there, got parsley, some uh, some chives. Uh, traditionally, you know, you'd put a little bit of nutmeg in there, but I feel it's a bit wintry. Yeah. You know, season it up, and then you just really make a pancake, and you just get a nice hot pan, Yum. or cheat like I do here, and get a Teflon pan. Yeah, You know, fine. But you just pack it down, and now some people put a little bit of egg in there, roosties, you can do that. I just like the straight potato flavor. Because it sticks anyways, right? Even yeah. without the egg? And I'm gonna add some butter in here and get going. Look at that, I love it. So you leave that till it turns golden brown on one side, okay? So just let that cook away. Okay. Over here, I'm capturing spring in a pot. Ready to do some greens? Just butter, <laughs> no, no. Butter starts things going. But you know, good old shallots. I got some chopped shallots going on. I've got a little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. And then what I've done is mushrooms. But here's nice. where it gets great is the fiddleheads are here. So you got ah. fiddle heads, asparagus. See another vegetable I barely oh, use, fiddle Beautiful, heads. right? And People then love you, them though. You just saute this down, I'm adding a little bit of Swiss chard stems in there. Mm -hmm. And then even a little bit of leaves. Oh, that's you know? good. And that's it. And you could just saute that down if you want, like me, put wine in everything, put a right. splash of wine in there, <laughs> right? Um, but really, just saute this off. Obviously I let that cook a little bit longer, but what I've got is, for the magic of television, is have one already done. But a nice roosty on the bottom just gives texture, and I, I think, I, I like my starch, right? Yeah. But let's see what's going on underneath here. A little bit of starch is oh. very good for the brain. You can see it's, it's starting ready. to brown. But the thing is, once you get a little golden brown, you want to add some knobs of butter around there, just for the, you know, low-fat kind of... Uh, yeah, no, it, if it helps you're watching it your brown. diet or it whatever. It brown, helps it to give flavor. For sure. All right, but the great thing is you can do those in advance, warm them up, once you've got this here, then you just take your nice little fricassee and you just put that right over top. Yeah, the, the vegetables actually smell really good. Oh, it's so fresh, so spring. It's the I mean, freshness of it. Throw a little bit of rhubarb in there, it'd be really cool, right? Yeah. Uh, I haven't got any heavy sauce with this because I think there's enough going on, right? Mm -hmm. And then this beautiful trout. And I know the skin's nice, but I like to show off the pink of the fish. So I'm just going to put that right over the top like that. You know? Lovely. And then you just take some nice fresh dill, garnish it up. Okay, so is it still on the menu? Is it going to come back on it, the menu? You know, these kind of items are popping up on the menu all the time this yeah. time of year because it's Go just Go to Peller. That kind of, yeah. 
<laughs> or you can go home and make it yourself, or you can just go to Peller. He'll make it for you. Yeah. You just go to Peller. I'll take care of it. No boring. And it's a fun, it's a fun trip. So uh, cityline.ca for the recipe. Beautiful. I'm loving Smell the spring it. theme today. Mm. Let's go to break. Thanks for coming up. <laughs>